これからみんなでめちゃくちゃ踊って騒ごう騒ごう。へえ、Hi there and welcome. This is Vince of VincePrep.com. Columbia Business School essays are out.、Uh, the first school, at least of the, the 10 that I track, to,、uh, that I actively track, to release their questions for the incoming class of 2019. So, those of you trying to start your MBA in 2017, this is a series of videos. Thanks as always for watching my channel. You may have seen that I've already analyzed the short answer question and essay one. So let's talk now about Essay 2. Essay 2 is basically why New York City. It's a continuation of the, first, of, of the short answer and Essay 1, which is all about your short term and maybe medium or long term goals and why Columbia. When you're talking about why Columbia in Essay 1, as I said in the other video, I think you should really be focusing on the core MBA program, the formal stuff, the classes, if you will. Um, in Essay 2, talk about all the other incredible stuff that Columbia does to leverage, nice MBA word, leverage its New York City location to bring New York City into the classroom and to bring you out of the classroom and into incredible opportunities in New York City. So here's the question. Let me just read it. And by the way, the question is at the end. The first question. Two thirds of the essay is just Columbia marketing itself to you, which is, you know, can't blame them for doing it, right? Here they go. Columbia Business School students participate in, and there's a list, industry focused New York immersion seminars. Ding, ding, ding. That's new. I'll talk about that in a bit. New as of last year. Project based master classes. That's a few years old. I think 2011 or 12, they started the master. No, sorry. Master classes started in 2008 when I visited campus. They were just starting to talk about master classes. The, I, look, I used to work at Columbia University, not the business school. I worked at a center that di- helped faculty digitize their curriculum. This is when I was going, getting my master's degree in instructional design,、uh, cognitive science, and all that good stuff in media for education in New York City. I worked at Columbia. I chose to go to NYU. Very unusual choice. I had my reasons. Anyway, been there a lot around 99, 2000, 2001. Went back many times. Went to see the master classes when they were getting started in 2008. And now they've got these immersion seminars、um, started last year, 2015. School year internships always have existed.、Um, anyway, sorry, I was going to read the question. I'm already analyzing it. Anyway, most importantly, I don't know most importantly to you or most importantly to them, but anyway, most importantly, our students are taught by a combination of distinguished research faculty and accomplished practitioners. Look, compare this to Tuck, great school, Dartmouth, love Dartmouth, but you're not going to get a lot of accomplished practitioners commuting to Hanover. Whereas Morningside Heights,、uh, starting on 110th Street in the business school a little further north of that, subway from Midtown, subway from Wall Street, Subway in from Connecticut, if they're one of these hedge fund guys,、um, they can come and they can do、uh, all kinds of stuff, quote, at the very center of business. Like Essay 1, there's a range of words. They're giving you, <coughs> pardon me, I'm going to leave that in and not edit it out because I want to get this video done.、Um, 100 to 150 words, gray area. You got to choose what you want to say. So, what are you going to say to Columbia to answer this essay? First of all, disclaimer, don't, please don't take me literally. I get comments in YouTube or sometimes emails or even face to face meetings with my clients, and they're like, I'm confused. You said I have to. No, I never say what you have to do. I'm just giving suggestions, just trying to help you get started. So, here are some suggestions to help you think more deeply about it. My stuff, not Columbia's. So, first of all, I like to think of this as conversations. I have conversations with my clients. I get to know you. I pull my, my team at Agos, we pull、uh, your stories out of you and we help you look at them and then we help you organize them, right? It's a three dimensional puzzle, very complicated, self marketing, self branding, very much an art, somewhat of a science. Yeah, it's a puzzle, but it's also very subjective. A lot of it is, is a matter of taste, and so different consultants will give you 
different advice, but we're partners on the outside helping you. So here's my question for you as an outside partner. What conversations do you want to have that you can only have in New York City? So who, who can you not meet in Hanover, New Hampshire, for example? Sorry to pick on Tuck. Love Tuck. Um, whom do you want to meet in New York City? Why do you want to meet them? And I think implied, this is something I'm going to ask you. I don't know if you want to include it in your essay, but I'm going to ask you. My team at Agos is going to ask you, by the way, why does this person want to meet you? So you say Warren Buffett, Columbia MBA graduate. Uh, he usually works in um, Nebraska, but he comes to you know, he comes to New York City once in a while, I'm going to get on his calendar, I'm going to meet Warren Buffett. Okay, great. Why does he want to meet you? Um, what questions do you want to ask him, right? What conversation are you going to have? Why is it, a, a, you know, it's 80-20, he's giving you a lot more than you're giving him. But again, to give you more than two minutes, um, a one minute elevator pitch, why is he going to give you valuable time that, you know, he's otherwise compensated for? Um, so, other than Warren Buffett, who are you going to meet? How are you going to access them? And go for it. If you want to talk about Buffett, how are you going to access them? Um, try to find somebody. My suggestion is find somebody who's already involved in one of the immersion seminars. Somebody who's already involved in one of the master classes. A company that's already known for giving in-year school year internships. So during Columbia, something you couldn't do again, Tuck, or even Kellogg, or Michigan, or Duke, or even Stanford, right? Berkeley, who are you going to meet? UCLA, even Wharton, Philly, who are you going to do an internship with that is a subway ride away as opposed to a flight, a, tr a longer train ride, whatever, a long drive? Um, also, maybe the research faculty. Sure, there may be more people. I think you might want to mention one or two professors in essay one. Maybe there's another professor you want to meet here, and I've made a link to the, you can search the Columbia database um, by areas of expertise. And finally, accomplished practitioners. Accomplished practitioners are involved in master classes. Accomplished practitioners might help you get school year internships. Uh, accomplished practitioners might be involved in immersion seminars. And I added this, this is me, not Columbia. Don't forget the Executives in Residence program. They launched Executives in Residence. I think that was about 2010 or 11. You can check me. I'm probably wrong. It's In my memory, that's about when they listed it. So here's the Executive Residence. Current or last year's executive is, is Executives in Residence. If you're in finance, maybe you want to talk to Zarb. Frank Zarb is, wow, a god in the industry. Um, he, this guy could really help you, if depending on what you're trying to do. He's from Hellman and Friedman. I mean, wow. Uh, and before that, he was he was at Lazard. This is a boutique level, I mean, a boutique. Sorry, wrong word. This is a this is a carnivore. This guy's at the top of the food chain. You might want to meet him. On the other hand, um, if you're interested in consumer products, this guy was an executive uh, officer of International Flavors and Fragrances, and before that, he was at International Paper. Rob Amen. If you're in consumer products or marketing or manufacturing. Uh, operations, this guy might be your guy. Also take a look at the bottom of what they're interested in. People development leadership, emerging markets. Okay, let's say that you have exposure to an emerging market that you've looked at Amen's uh, work and you figured out or you can make an educated guess that this guy has an interest in an emerging market where you have an interest. Just thinking out loud, Indonesia, if you have exposure to Indonesia, he probably has exposure to Indonesia, international paper. Uh, resources, but maybe not. Or Brazil, maybe he has resources there. I don't know where pulp comes from. I don't know enough about the paper industry, but I'm just saying find a way that you can have something to knock on his door and he'll give you more time than he would uh, just to the average uh, student who's accessing him through executive residence. And finally, my example, I would want to meet this guy, Michael White. His interest is media technology. I got my passion is media plus technology plus education. Maybe this guy wants to introduce me to someone who wants to help fund the next Khan Academy. So, I want to meet Michael White. Who do you want to meet? What do you want to talk about? Why do they want to meet you? That's, I think, my takeaway from this, uh, from this essay, is really think about conversations. And again, this is beyond the scope of the question. I'm just trying to give you a little something to think about. All right, I'm going to sign off for now. As always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching this video and best of luck with your applications.
Bye for now.